Good day and welcome to Discus, South Carolina's virtual library. It's a service provided by the South Carolina State Library. Today we are looking at South Carolina history resources for third and eighth grades specifically. You will see that we have a, a few topics for grade three and a few for grade eight that you can kind of keep in mind as we look at the various resources here. And you will also note that you will also note from the subject page of scdiscus.org we have history category broken out by elementary, middle school, and high school. What we're going to focus on today, however, are study SC, culture grams with the county information, South Carolina people, printable maps, flags, state symbols, timelines, graphs, and tables. And also we're going to look at Credo Reference for some reference book sources, images, um, other guides and maps. Learn 360 is going to show you multimedia for your South Carolina history resources, biography obviously for the people, and historic American newspapers to be able to see the old newspapers from um, various cities in South Carolina. So you now know that we have very many formats for you to review. I would like for you to, uh, if you would like to go out to studysc.org as you cover this, um, you would be able to follow along with me. Uh, we're going to look at Study SC first. This is not in itself a discus resource, but it is a compilation of South Carolina information that is provided in studysc.org. And this is excellent for both third and eighth grade and for the general population in South Carolina to learn a lot about the counties and the history, etc. I want to show you first um, South Carolina people is one of the tabs that we have here. South Carolina counties, that's going to give you county information, historical information, um, uh, famous people who are from particular uh, towns and cities within the counties. But I want to focus first on South Carolina people to show you how you might guide your students to quickly uh, viewing some of the explorers, military leaders, business leaders, even musicians um, who were either from South Carolina or who became known um, with, sing uh, with their singing and music. Um, and got started in South Carolina. What you're going to find here are various resources that are linked from several sources, either South Carolina encyclopedias, South Carolina uh, discus databases, such as from Biography and Context and others. So they're all in one single location, which is just a very quick stop for you to be able to um, quickly pull the information, um, get some good information here, and then also um, to take your search into some of our other databases if, if necessary. So that is one area that you want to definitely show your students. Also, the South Carolina County's interactive map. Uh, Jessica Ogborn has worked um, here at the State Library very diligently to pull these informations together for you. And what you'll find here is an interactive county map uh, where your student can explore the history and information for the specific counties. For instance, for Saluda County here, notice um, there's history, background of the county, the official county website, the county map that goes with it, um, famous people from the county, and then as we go down, the cities and towns are going to be some of the key uh, sites, some of the key historical places perhaps uh, within that county. Um, so this is something that is very handy uh, just at the fingertips of you and your students um, to be aware of that. 
I also want to point out in the navigation bar grade levels. So we have elementary, middle, and high broken out for you. So obviously your third grade and your eighth grade will be easily here. But look at these great categories that have already been broken out. So if students are looking for a specific category within South Carolina that uh, they're studying a unit on, they're going to be able to quickly go to that section, for instance, here on Gullah Culture. They'll be able to pull that information. They'll be able to um, look at the resources. And then also, um, as I said before, they'll also have um, additional, um, sometimes discus resources that pull the information. So you can see all of this Gullah language, um, and just rich Gullah history that is right here at their fingertips. Um, for your younger students in elementary level that are working on uh, additional topics or other topics, again, they can browse through, see the fast facts. They can look at um, some of the first South Carolinians for their uh, topics on um, explorers and other pieces such as that. So this is a very useful site for your students that I would like to emphasize first today. If you should find that you need additional uh, South Carolina resources that would be a great addition to this resource, please contact uh, our DISCUS office. I will have that email address up and showing on the screen for you at the conclusion of this session. So now we are moving on back to the scdiscus.org website. Uh, we are looking by subject and I have scrolled down and selected history so you can see what page we are on now. All of the remaining resources that I show you today for South Carolina history will be accessed through this same portal um, and you can see there are many listed, but we are only going to cover five or six key pieces uh, for the South Carolina history. First, let's take a look at culture grams. Culture grams is going to be useful to not only your third graders, but your eighth graders, um, and those all the way through high school, actually. As you can see with the different editions here, we have the kids edition, world edition, but we're gonna look at states edition today because within the state's edition, we can pull our information on South Carolina. So we can click on South Carolina here. Notice the first thing you get will be an um, entire fact list about the state itself. Um, and these are good um, kind of interesting facts about South Carolina. Each one of the states here in state's edition will have this. But you'll notice on the left we have information about the place, the climate, the geography of the state. And one of the great pieces within culturegrams are the timelines that you see. And this timeline uh, goes back to exploration times with the early explorers from the 1500s all the way through uh, up into mid 2000s. So you can see here, um, this kind of gives them a good timeline in history within um, South Carolina for the state. Um, some of the uh, interesting events that occurred and the, uh, how the boll weevil destroyed the cotton, the Great Depression, you know, what was going on um, that was um, significant through the years. So that timeline is available there. I also wanted to show you, um, if you look on the left-hand side of this screen, notice you also have um, a good background for each state about historical pieces uh, that the students can certainly use. There is also a list of famous people um, they talk about the, the state government and how that um, is divided and works. You can see here famous people, Althea Gibson, Dizzy Gillespie, um, that, that is a full list, Joe Frazier, 
the heavyweight champion boxer. So if you ever want your students to report out on a particular person within South Carolina, this is a good place to go also in addition to your study SC. And that is actually all listed under the people section there on the left. And then we also have some great state symbols, uh, just a whole listing of these major league sports teams, recipes, etc. So within the state symbols, notice you can listen to the bird song of the state bird, the Carolina wren. Um, students can also have good images of the state tree, the flower, and other symbols that are significant to South Carolina. So this is all within culture grams and notice on the right top there is a drop down that allows you or your student to print out the entire report um, on South Carolina in one PDF file. I'm just going to pull that up for you to have a quick look at that um, so that you can see uh, there are 11 pages here of the full report that are going to include those facts about South Carolina that's going to include your timelines and other information all in one printable or downloadable piece. So that's good for you to know uh, that that is there as well. The other piece that I want to show you is within uh, graphs and tables within the uh, software for culture grams. If you want to get your students to sort of compare and contrast different states, uh, for instance, compare South Carolina's population to that of other states, etc., you can have them create a table or a graph uh, to indicate that. So they would simply go into compare tables. They could choose their states of interest. Obviously, for this session, we're looking at South Carolina, so I'm going to highlight that first. But if you want them to compare it to contiguous states, you can do that with North Carolina. Also, um, so you can have, um, let's see if I can grab this again, uh, South Carolina, control North Carolina there. Contiguous states, you can also uh, perhaps choose Georgia. But then if you want them to also maybe pick something from the north or the west, you can also do that as well uh, to compare. And notice on the right, they may select the categories they wish to prepare. For instance, um, what's the population of each of these states and how do those compare? Um, what is the population under 18 years old that's more close to their age group? Um, how many actually have um, high school graduates? What's the percentage there? And another um, place that they can also compare is when, what year the state entered the union and the statehood order. So that one might be another point of comparison. Obviously, the students can choose any of those there. I'm going to grab population back because I lost it a minute ago. Notice you just click on Create Comparison Table, and here we have the table. This can then be pulled down with your report options, um, downloaded as a CSV that can uh, be pulled into Excel. So if you want them to manipulate the data or then create graphs based on the data, you can do that also. Or they just have the option to print the report. Uh, but this is a nice way for them to kind of uh, look at South Carolina in relation to other states also. So another feature that you have um, within uh, culture grams is you also have um, not only the comparison tables, um, but you also have some other tools here uh, that I wanted to make known to you. Um, first of all, you can see on the left, you have a breakdown of race and ethnicity and age. Uh, within the state that is also something useful for your cultural part of South Carolina history. And I'm just going to go all the way to the top here. I'm going to return to States Edition and South Carolina and let you see now um, as I scroll down on the right, these are the additional features I mentioned that 
um, will tell you a distance calculator so they can actually calculate distances between cities within South Carolina. Notice there's also the obviously the state flag but I wanted to point out too uh, there are printable maps that are available in culturegrams. So we have a detail map here um, that you can see and pull up. Again you can download this or print it out. So there is a detailed map there's also an outline map of the state here and showing our capital. And then finally, there is a county map um, for this portion as well. So these are all printable if you choose to use those. So these are uh, some of the key features of culture grams that we have within South Carolina that would be useful to your third and eighth graders. So returning to our discus page where we had our history resources outlined for each age group, we're going to look at Credo Reference next. Just by way of introduction, I want to show you on the slide first. Credo Reference is an online reference collection of over 600 re great resource that includes images, videos, a great mind map tool to show them the concepts within. Notice this, this is actually a collection within Credo Reference that is pulled out and labeled as History and Cultural Studies from ABC Clio. And you can see a search in South Carolina gives you a topic page, a overview of South Carolina. It gives you a mind map here uh, on the left. Um, that also breaks out pieces of um, South Carolina where they each time they click on a particular concept within South Carolina. You notice on the right uh, their results change for their information results. You can even break this down even more if we choose Fort Sumter from the South Carolina list. Now we have Battle of Fort Sumter, we have South Carolina and American, Battery Park, American Civil War forts. Notice now we have 63 results that uh, now break out information specifically about Fort Sumter from the various reference materials. There are also a, a nice South Carolina in Credo LibGuide, which is a subject guide specifically on South Carolina that is pulled from Credo resources. There are two ways to access this Credo LibGuide. One is from going to the South Carolina Discus.org uh, page and choosing subject history as I just showed you. The second way is to go in and do a, a click on the Discus logo in Credo Reference and select South Carolina in Credo LibGuide. And that's what we're going to do now. I'm just going to move us back um, out of uh, the canned sort of slides there and into the live Discus page. Notice when I click on the Discus logo here I get a choice of South Carolina in Credo LibGuide. So here um, it will take you out to our State Library page where you're going to find another great resource for your students that includes history and culture, Native Americans, early history, Civil War, slavery, civil rights, geography, and biographies. And notice um, as you click on these various topics you're going to get uh, just a whole plethora of information um, that the students can now easily access and link to here with the South Carolina LibGuide. Um, I do want to take you back into Credo Reference to show you that mind map tool one more time. Notice you can do a basic search which is what it defaults to here. They can search specifically on images if they want an image of Fort Sumter. Um, they can also do a mind map here. So if we just do South Carolina as the search. This is the mind map tool that uh, you're going to see that um, I had in my slide so that you'll see how how it actually works in real time here. So you can now see these were the results that I had on the right. So as we uh, browsed through the various topics that were here 
um, I clicked on Charleston and within Charleston I uh, was looking at Fort Sumter so now we have the mind map tool to take us to the Fort Sumter resources here on your right and notice once a student has located um, information that they're uh, interested in here um, on the right um, they can go now and um, actually go out to that resource they can save it to their Google Drive and they can also get information about citing the information so here we have across the top they can listen to the article read aloud they can use the citation information to cite the source um, they can export the information to their Google Drive or print it out in a PDF format. They can email it to themselves. Um, also you can um, embed these as teachers or instructor, instructors, embed them into LMSs if you want to post something within that. So those are all options that you have there. Uh, notice these are full articles from the actual reference book and including um, the the um, any images or uh, graphs etc that came within the original article um, so these reference books are going to be very useful to your third graders and eighth graders as they um, work to use um, the credo reference guide So now returning back to our uh, discus landing page here for our history category, we're going to look at Learn 360 next. This is for your multimedia resources that you would like uh, to use for South Carolina history. And notice if I just go up to Learn 360 and search um, way in general on South Carolina, Notice across the top, um, as my results pull up, I have several tabs. I have videos that are related to South Carolina, over 300, audios, printables, images, and encyclopedia articles. So if I just simply want to look at the images that are available here, um, you're going to find different ones, of course. Obviously, we have a map here, uh, a picture of the South Carolina legislature. And we also have some from um, um, historical images as well. Uh, radical members of the first South Carolina legislature after the Civil War, for instance. Um, so you're going to find some interesting surprises within Learn360 um, that can be used. Notice, uh, too, that um, when you look on the right, you can also see the tags that are related to the image. You can download it here if you need to grab the citation for it. It is simply there. Um, and then if you wanted to share it out, let's say you wanted to share it to your Google Classroom, you could do that as well. Um, you can also go in and do a direct search within Learn360. Uh, again, you're going to find full-length videos. You're going to find video segments here as well. Um, so if I want to search on Gullah for the Gullah culture, and remember we did get a lot of Gullah information when we simply went into Study SC, but here with Learn360, again, um, you're going to have more options. Um, for additional videos and segments of videos. Notice this Gullah video is actually a segment within an entire series um, that um, you, where you might find additional resources that are appropriate for a particular unit. And those are always broken out in that format. Um, to where you could actually see the segment you, you were specifically interested in and also uh, the additional pieces thereof. So for instance if we want to look up Hunley and do more specific searching than just broad South Carolina which is probably going to be more uh, realistic search for you. Um, this one is on Hunley's mission and you can see down we have Death Trap, uh, we have other places in which Hunley is referred to in other videos, but
but the most relevant one is coming up first because notice that is what it is sorted by. It's sorted by relevance there. So the next piece that we'll look at is the again the ability to share to uh, your Google Classroom here um, or to share by email so you do have that option as well. Um, it always tells you the time on the videos. You can watch a preview of the video and there is an option to embed a direct link into a learning management system as well. Notice there are six results here for Hunley. Um, if I want to, I, I can check to see what grade levels these are relevant to. And uh, for six through eight here, still those three results. Notice when I go down to grades three to five, um, these are still appropriate for them and those are the key three. Um, when you have a large number of results, this uh, filtering by grade level um, also will help you sort of sort out what's most appropriate for your students. So you can um, see what is available there and utilize those resources. Um, you can also look up um, other topics such as the Doolittle Raiders, um, um, if you're looking for explorers and that kind of thing, you can find more videos there as well. Um, so I'll just click on do little, whoop, pardon my spelling there, do little raiders there, and here's yet um, more videos that are available um, for you to use. And notice any of those uh, pieces that are available within the database will be on those tabs at the top. So if you did want just a picture of the of the Doolittle Raiders and not necessarily the whole video, you have that option as well. So we're going to look next at another resource that um, is very interesting uh, for South Carolina history and that is the Historic American Newspapers. Within Historic American Newspapers, you can select the state um, of the newspapers that you're of interest, and obviously we're interested in South Carolina here today. And you can either view those newspapers, or you can also add another term. For instance, if you have some students that are studying about prohibition and just simply want articles that include the word prohibition anywhere in those South Carolina newspapers, you could use that. Um, you could also search on any other topic within, um, but it will actually retrieve for you um, strictly South Carolina newspapers that were writing about and including that term somewhere in the article or in the publication. So you can see here we have the Times Democrat from 1909. Uh, with the Pageland Journal here. So a lot of times this really brings history to life to the students because they're actually seeing um, some of the articles and even the advertisements and pieces as they were printed um, during, the, during the, the time period. So I'm just going to click on the Edgefield Advertiser here and pull this up for you to see. Um, you can see here they have a political cartoon about prohibition and then they go into an article about it. Uh, you might be asking, okay, that's very small. I can't see that very well. You can um, enlarge, um, enlarge the um, page for you to be able to see it um, much, you know, be able to zoom in and look at it um, and be able to actually read the article itself as well. So you can, at this point, you can just kind of scroll to look at the information that's within the newspaper. But this is great because some of this is going to give them some really good primary resources also uh, for their research. And you are welcome to explore these other uh, options that are available to you for various historical topics. Um, I do want to bring you into um, an additional resource 
um, actually that is not listed here. I think we probably need to add it there. But I'm going to go just quickly to the A to Z list and choose Biography in Context. This is a great place for students to find information about key figures in South Carolina, um, such as Mary McLeod, Bethune, um, for instance, if they already know a name of a particular person. Notice they're going to get a good overall biography, but they're also going to get other featured content. So if there are articles in newspapers, magazines, and other uh, reference sources, those will also be available along with any images and, um, and other formats of information. So they're going to be able to really in one-stop shop within biography um, in context be able to pull several um, different formats of information as you can see here on the along the right side. Um, within uh, your biography and context when you open one of the sources notice on your right you do have a lot of the same tools that you had within Credo Reference you do have a citation tool uh, they can send it to their Google Drive or to their Microsoft OneDrive so they can uh, pull all of their articles together in one spot. Um, they can also do highlights and notes. This is a great feature within Biography and Context. So as they're pulling their information and they see a particular quote they want to pull or something that they want to add to their paper, they can simply highlight that in a particular color, make a note to themselves here, um, Add to history project, um, um, first paragraph, whatever the note they want to make to themselves. Notice once they save that, they can go through and save and highlight information all throughout the article. And then when they send it to their Google Drive, all of the highlights and notes will go with it so that they're now able to get home, look at all their articles, and remember what was key within that article that they'd like to use uh, for their paper. So Biography and Context is the last uh, resource that I wanted to show you today. Um, um, and finally, I wanted to put up that last slide for you. So if you have um, any questions and you'd like to contact me directly for any kind of questions about lesson planning or content, um, if you would like to contact the Discus office, as I mentioned earlier, um, if you would like to contact them and let them know um, of additional resources you would like to see in that Study SC resource, you're welcome to do that as well. And we really appreciate you attending. We appreciate you um, coming today. And we hope to see you again in another webinar or screencast. Thank you.